It takes a simple act of kindness to get the ball rolling. And I believe we've accomplished that today. We know what's out there. We don't give it the attention that it truly deserves. Thanksgiving night in Poplar Bluff. The Pruitt family was driving home from dinner. <sighs> it's so cold. They've had all my paperwork. I've, I, I'm speechless. It, it really touches my heart. Through the windshield, they saw U.S. Navy veteran Floyd Huffman as he battled incessant rainfall with nothing but a cardboard box. He just doesn't have a whole lot. And I asked him, you know, what do you need? And the only thing he told me he wanted was a change of clothes. You know, he said, there's too many other people out there who need more than him. Seven years, tempted by drugs and alcohol on the streets of the isolated city in Missouri. I've been sweeping down the railroad depot and just around town and anywhere I could get dry. Huffman says he was never alone. There was nowhere to go. And you'd be surprised how many people are in abandoned houses and are just walking the streets. A friend of mine had this apartment and she let me live here, you know, until I get on my feet again. When the Pruitts met Huffman, he'd only had a bed to sleep in for a single night, but he was already on a mission to give back. He was carrying a box of food from the uh, mission, and he was actually giving back himself. Trying to help others that couldn't get out. There's some local people here that were sick, and I picked them up at dinner and took it to their house. You know, what did the man have when you met him? Uh, he had a quilt, he had a hot plate, a one burner hot plate, and. Um, and a heart of gold. <laughs> Touched by the man's generosity, Pruitt took to social media and made it her mission to give him what he needed. Former Marine Robert Chambers was among thousands who saw her post and couldn't get its message out of his mind. It messed with my sleep Thursday night, and when I got up early Friday morning, I knew we had to do something to help him. Too many people are overlooked today. We take a lot of things for granted. The Pruitts received more donations than they knew what to do with, some from nearly 1,000 miles away. Now their minds are set on continuing that story, and they founded a volunteer group for veterans called Helping Heartland's Heroes. Especially during this winter. In the tip of the iceberg, you know, we were led to, to come help him. Right, right. And it's opened our eyes. We've gained so much stuff and so much support from the, the public itself that We've still got a ton of stuff here, another storage unit. We're going to track down and help more veterans, more homeless people. If there's anything I can do to help them, I will. Okay. And uh, I think it's a wonderful bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to thank you for our service, man.